Scene Script Ever wondered why some people seem to have an uncanny ability to bend the world to their will? Is it luck, or is there a secret code? Welcome to the intriguing world of power dynamics. Picture a chessboard, where every move counts and one wrong step can cost you the game. This is the essence of The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Published in 1998, this strategic guide delves into the multifaceted dynamics of power and presents a roadmap to navigate and manipulate these structures. Whether you're a king or a pawn, understanding these laws can be your key to achieving success. Now it's worth noting that this book isn't without its share of controversy. Some critics have given it a side eye, branding it as a Machiavellian manual for manipulation. However, others hail it as a brilliant analysis of power dynamics and human behavior. Amid these polarizing views, one thing remains clear. The 48 laws of power has struck a chord in our collective consciousness, and it's impossible to ignore its influence. At its core, the book offers 48 laws that explore various aspects of power, from the importance of maintaining a sense of mystery and the danger of outshining the master, to the art of using enemies and the necessity to guard your reputation fiercely. Each law is a piece of the puzzle that forms the bigger picture of power dynamics. These laws are not just theoretical constructs. They are illustrated with historical examples, anecdotes and case studies, making them tangible and relatable. It's like a mirror held up to human nature, reflecting both our strengths and our vulnerabilities. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. It's crucial to approach these laws critically and consider their ethical implications. After all, power is a double-edged sword. It can create or it can destroy. Intrigued? Let's dive into some of these laws and see what we can learn. Scene script. Power is not always about being the loudest or the strongest. Sometimes, subtlety is key. Let's delve into the first four laws from Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power, which highlight the art of subtlety. Firstly, we have Law 1, Never Outshine the Master. This law is not about downplaying your abilities, but rather about tactfully managing how you present them. It's about understanding the dynamics of hierarchy and respecting the positions of those above you. Remember, it's essential to maintain the illusion of submissiveness, even when you're capable of surpassing your superiors. Next, we come to Law 2. Never put too much trust in friends, learn how to use enemies. This law underscores the unpredictability of human relationships. It's not about being paranoid, but about being cautious. Friends can sometimes turn fickle, and enemies can often be more reliable. Understanding this can help you navigate the complex labyrinth of alliances and rivalries. Moving on to Law 3, Conceal Your Intentions. This law is all about mystery and allure. By keeping your plans hidden and revealing only what's necessary, you make yourself less vulnerable to sabotage and more intriguing to others. It's like a game of poker. The less your opponents know about your hand, the better. Finally, we explore Law 4, Always Say Less Than Necessary. This is where the power of silence comes into play. By avoiding unnecessary communication, you allow others to reveal their intentions while keeping yours under wraps. Remember, sometimes the most powerful thing you can say is nothing at all. Each of these laws emphasizes the importance of subtlety in the quest for power. They remind us that power is not just about brute force or loud proclamations. It's also about the quiet, calculated moves that happen behind the scenes. It's about being a chess player, not a pawn. Remember, power is not just about action, but also about knowing when to hold back. How others perceive us plays a significant role in our ability to wield power effectively. This brings us to Laws 5 and 6 of Power, as elucidated by Robert Greene in his strategic guide, The 48 Laws of Power. Let's start with Law 5. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? But consider this. Your reputation is like your calling card. It's what people know or think they know about you. It precedes you and lingers after you've left the room. A solid, positive reputation can open doors, sway opinions, and influence outcomes in your favor. Conversely, a tarnished reputation can be a significant obstacle to overcome. It can close doors, breed mistrust, and create unnecessary challenges. Therefore, it's crucial to cultivate a positive reputation 
and guard it with the same care you would guard your most precious possessions. But how do you cultivate such a reputation? Well, that's where Law 6 comes into play. Court attention at all costs. Now, this doesn't mean you should be the loudest person in the room or always be in the spotlight. Instead, it's about being visible in a way that aligns with your goals and the image you want to project. Be conspicuous by demonstrating your skills, sharing your knowledge, and contributing value wherever you can. Remember, invisibility is a disadvantage. If you're not seen, you're forgotten. But if you're visible and memorable, you're more likely to gain power and influence. So, to wield power effectively, you must understand and leverage the power of perception. Your reputation and visibility are not just about you, but about how others see you and interpret your actions. It's a game of perception, and those who understand this can navigate the labyrinth of power with relative ease. Power is not just about what you do, but also about how others see you. That's why it's vital to guard your reputation and court attention at all costs. Power is not just about exerting control, but also about knowing how to manipulate situations to your advantage. Let's delve into Law 7. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. The essence of this law is all about the art of delegation. It's about recognizing that you cannot do everything yourself, and that there is strength in allowing others to lend their skills to your cause. But remember, while you delegate tasks, you must always hold the reins of control. It's a delicate balance, retaining ultimate responsibility while allowing others to carry out the tasks. This way, you can bask in the glow of success, appearing indispensable to those around you. Moving on to Law 8, make other people come to you. Use bait if necessary. This law teaches us about the power of allure. Instead of chasing after opportunities or people, the idea is to create a sense of attraction that draws them to you. It could be your skills, your personality, or a unique offer that nobody else can provide. When others come to you, it places you in a position of control. You dictate the pace, you set the terms, and you hold the power. Finally, Law 9, win through your actions, never through argument. This law reminds us that actions indeed speak louder than words. It's easy to get lost in endless debates, trying to prove your point. But at the end of the day, what truly matters is what you do, not what you say. Demonstrating your abilities through concrete actions is far more convincing and powerful than any argument you could make. In conclusion, these laws emphasize the importance of strategy in wielding power. It's not about brute force or sheer dominance, it's about subtly maneuvering situations to your advantage, using your intellect and understanding of human behavior. Remember, power is as much about strategy as it is about force. The people around us can significantly influence our pursuit of power. Delving into the tenth law, we find a concept as old as humanity itself, the influence of the company we keep. This law highlights the importance of surrounding ourselves with positive and successful individuals. The reasoning? Misery, negativity, and failure can be just as contagious as joy, positivity, and success. Think of your social circle as a mirror, reflecting back to you what you put forth. If you surround yourself with ambition, motivation, and triumph, you are more likely to adopt these qualities, propelling you towards power. Conversely, if you find yourself in the midst of pessimism and failure, these forces can pull you down, hindering your journey to power. In essence, it is vital to be selective in your associations. Choose to align yourself with those who uplift, inspire, and push you towards your goals. The company you keep can make or break your journey to power. Power is a complex and multifaceted concept. We've journeyed through the intriguing landscape of power, exploring its subtleties and the importance of perception. We've touched upon the art of saying less than necessary, concealing intentions, and the significance of reputation. We've also delved into the tactics of power, from never outshining the master, to courting attention, and the strategic use of allies and enemies. The company we keep, from avoiding the unhappy and unlucky, to courting those who raise our visibility and status, plays a crucial role in our power dynamics. All these principles drawn from Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power offer a strategic guide to navigate power structures and achieve success. However, it's essential to approach these laws critically, considering their ethical implications. 
They are not a manual for manipulation, but a tool for understanding the dynamics of human behavior. Remember, power is not just about manipulation and control. It's also about understanding human behavior and navigating complex dynamics effectively.